Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I am just switching out things here. I don't know which one I want to do. Probably Quantium. Um, I did think I could probably just craft up more of these stocking input buses for this. That way I don't have to replace replace anything. Um, but there's nothing super, super important. Like, we're not really, we're not pumping any infused gold anymore, so I can just replace that. It doesn't really matter, but I'm sure we'll get to a point where I don't want to replace any of them. Um, but, yeah, so I've gone ahead and placed the miner. I went and picked it up, placed it in the overworld. And, uh, yeah, now we are... Processing all the appetite and this tricalcium stuff, which uh, gives us tricalcium phosphates, but I am processing that all down. And I've also gone ahead and set this up to mace rate all that. So, this should be running with the. Yeah, there it goes with that. So, that is producing. Phosphate. I'm actually going to set this now. Got all over the place. I'm going to throw this in there to process all our phosphate down into phosphorus. So I finally, finally got around to doing that. Now, obviously, we have a lot of a lot more of that to go. I also, when I set up the the miner, I didn't. Is the appetite the appetite? Maybe. Yeah, it's uh having a hard time getting through the appetite from the miner because we actually get so much from it. Look, sixteen. We got sixteen or from that. So, yeah, we are getting a ton of it. Um, I did shrink the working size of the miner. Usually it's 48, I think, is the max, but I, sh I shrink it down to 16. So hopefully it just kind of does the uh, just the appetite vein. I don't really need it doing other veins, but as we can see, it just it is grabbing them. But it looks like it's mostly just grabbing the appetite one, but we will see. All right, so last episode, we started crafting this up. I have gone ahead and started placing the blocks just to kind of get a feel for this. And uh, I think we have all the LUV casings. There was 21 of them. Easy enough to craft up at this point. That goes under here. And then basically the rest is those precise I can't like <laughs> I can't place blocks and talk at the same time uh, the pre precise thingies yeah pre precise electronic unit casings and then obviously the hatches and stuff so we do need 42 and I mean we're actually going to need more than that, I think, right? So one... It needs at least... Yeah, at least those. One, two, three, four, five. And then five times seven, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's actually a lot more. One, two, three, four. Four. Is that actually nine? How, how wide is this? It is nine. Alright, so that's 45 precise casings just on top. And then there is 21, 45, so that's like 66 and then all the other ones. All right, so we do have like an absolute 
huge amount of input buses, hatches, and all sorts of stuff on this, which is really cool, but that is going to take me a while to get all these precise machine casings. I'm figuring, like, every single one on the bottom, at least, we can replace with a hatch. How much would that be? Four, nine... 13, 16, like 18 on the bottom. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to see. I wish we could put something else. I guess. I don't know. I'll have to. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could just do the 42 precise and then just spam like the cheapest hatch possible because. I mean, you can do any hatch. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Like, just spam, like, ULV hatches as for as much as possible. Uh, I am kind of working on 42 precise casings at the moment. I don't know, actually, I don't think that's going to work, will it? No. Hatches don't... The casings and the energy hatch limits the voltage tier. But I don't think... Yeah, I don't think, like, the output hatches or input hatches would do that. I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, just start getting it together, and we will see. I do... I wouldn't mind testing that, to be honest. Just because these precise things are... I mean, these... This is, like, no joke. How expensive some of these... Especially these double things. I still haven't even figured out how we... Uh, we get this yet <laughs> this molten al I, I don't know how do we get this there doesn't seem to be is there I'm missing it somewhere ah all right there we go I think that's how we get it I just happened to just click on the right thing there and get it all right I can actually get that from the overworld. I think I have some. I don't remember if I processed it or I threw it out. I may have gotten rid of it, to be honest. Oh, no, we have some. Cool. All right. Well, I got a lot of work to do, so let me get to putting this together. And I am just continuing to work on these 42. I'm going to do the, the minimum that we need here. Um, I do have still chugging along. That is a pretty slow recipe, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I'm crafting 42 or 21 of these up, and I'm just kind of crafting up all the parts for this. Now, I have gone ahead and got this lithium chloride. It is actually relatively easy, just a chemical bath with hydrochloric acid. Uh, lipidite or whatever that stuff's called yeah so we actually got a decent amount from the, the stuff we had i must have gotten it from a miner in the overworld i don't remember or i might have even gotten it when it was just a single block miner but uh yeah we've ended up getting 700 and something so that should last us for a very long time um, I haven't got this recipe set up. One, I need a, another LUV. So that is actually very power hungry. And I'm thinking, like, how am I going to do this? I don't really have a place for that. Um... I could replace could replace this with another LUV energy hatch. But I don't have a input hatch other than this one right here, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, I don't really need all three of those. Maybe I could do 
now. I was like, how would I? How would I get both a fluid and a, that in there? Like, I could. Maybe do. I don't think I can remove one of those, right? I think that is. I think we need nine heat proof casings, so I think I'm at the absolute max for those. Pretty sure. I may just have to manually do this, to be honest. It doesn't say we're not a minimum. Did I throw a hatch on there? Now I'm like, is that, is that possible? Here, let's just, we'll just try a thing. I feel like, I thought it was nine. Oh, it did form. All right, so I can actually get another hatch on that. Maybe I, uh, I don't really want to, hmm. don't really want to switch these out. It kind of messes everything up. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to do this. Uh, we'll probably just, like I said, do this manually for this amount. Why don't we? I could throw the recipe. I want to do this. And maybe just do one of these. Here, Mar. Right. Yeah, Mar C E and we need nineteen. There. So I could just do that on there, and then I'll just do this manually. But I do need another LEV energy app, so let's get that going. Ew. Oh. Oh man, I'm out of I never set that up, did I? Alright, I need to set that up. I have there actually let's just I never set up the fluid solidifier for that because I've just right yeah there go yeah because I keep doing that and then I just ignore it <laughs> uh yeah I need to set up another one of these fluid solidifiers for the uh ingots i believe it's for the silicon rubber rings i think that's what it that is for silicone i'm pretty sure it's for those which are used in pumps yeah it probably is used in the pump recipe all right uh let me continue doing this is that one almost done with that nice and then let me figure out what i'm going to do with this Okay, I have gone ahead and completely redone how I'm getting power underneath. Um, I still think I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of this stuff. I'm still not, I'm not loving, not loving this yet. Um, but basically what I've done is have a line directly off that into the Vulcanus. And I've actually crafted up four Scenarium batteries. It does require 32 Scenarium dust, but uh, we're getting a decent amount of it. I had 290 something uh, before. I used 128. Uh, so we're getting it not like fast in any sort of way, but you know, as we're doing other stuff, we are slowly getting it. Um, so I decided to craft up these batteries just in case. Um, I don't want to be losing, I don't want this to run out of power, because we are starting to push, not, we're not like at the limit yet, we we can output 16 amps of LUB, but we are starting to kind of push um, when everything turns on, like for example, 
if everything's running, that's one LUV, that's two LUVs, this is four LUV amps, and this is one. So that is quite a bit just going to this one room. And then obviously if we have, you know, other stuff running or processing some of that stuff running, um, we could be uh, having machines not get enough power and turning off. So I don't want that to happen. So what I did is basically throw some batteries just as kind of like a little backup for this. Um, I was debating whether I should just do this for these ingots and then break them. Uh, put it back to just LUV, but I think we'll leave it at ZPM uh, for the time being. Um, all right, so that is that. Now I need to get... I can't remember how many we need for this. I I might even need more. This is just the bare minimum to get the multi-block formed, so I need 42 of that. Mar. 42 of those, so that is 80... 80 something of that. All right, um, I did empty out. Let me actually just throw some of this in there. I did, uh, I disconnected this. So I have room to throw the, the one that I actually need. All right, so that's, I may need to, as I was breaking machines and stuff, I think I need to yeah, turn them back on. All right, so that is running at ZPM, right? 65,000 EU per tick. Okay, that's not like a ton, but, you know, wasn't sure. Yeah, we're only actually pulling two amps. Interesting. All right. That's not... Really isn't uh, as much as I thought it would be, but uh, obviously not everything in the, this area is turned on. Yeah, two, three amps. All right, so that will put the stuff in here. And it's starting to, I'll melt this down and then just manually place it in the thing. And then we'll see. We'll see how... Uh, fast or slow this goes. Ah, it's actually limited by this. I mean, that's less than one second per ingot, so I mean... Yeah, it's 15 ticks. That's actually not that bad, you think. All right. I guess that is that all of it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so there's the cerium. I need to melt this down. I'll just do this in this thing. I thought we were gonna need more of that actually. That didn't feel like <laughs> for all uh we got like a thousand of those ingots. I thought we were gonna need more, but apparently not. I have also was debating if I wanted to switch a lot of these um, switch a lot of it it doesn't matter I wasn't sure if it needed a certain one all right it is still 129 seconds per thing so that's gonna take 500 seconds was 10 minutes at ZPM, so that is quite a lot. I can go ahead and just attach that, I guess. Yeah, I, what I was saying is I was debating about putting each gas in each recipe, but I don't know, like, if I need one dust, one bucket of oxygen, put that in the recipe and then have it just input um, because as we progress, we're going to start getting like more and more of these recipes that require kind of a unique fluid. And I just don't have room is the issue in these, <laughs> these blast furnaces. I just don't have enough hatches for multiple types of multiple types of fluids. Like I can't replace it. I have 
nine casings is the absolute minimum. So I have absolutely, I can't replace it with another hatch. So I don't know. I'll think about that. But there we go. That is that. And I think other than those, we pretty much have this. So I'm going to craft up these 42. I thought I had all those. Signalum. Oh, it's the bolts. I didn't realize we needed them for bolts. Yep, missed that. All right, but uh, this is going to take me a little while to craft up. We'll do that, and then I think I'm just going to... Obviously, we'll do the hatches that we need. The input buses, the hatches, and stuff. And, uh... I don't know. I may just fill the rest with just, like, ULV hatches. The cheapest hatch we possibly can. Just to get it formed. We'll see if that works. And we are back. I've gone ahead and, as we can see, there is a ton of input buses that we can use. Is the casings. I have filled the center with others. Oh, <laughs> I have a way up right there. And a way up right there. Um, I filled the center with just input buses. And just have them facing away so we can't see them. Uh, I put the energy hatches right here. Now I need a whole bunch of hatches on the ends. And those are where I'm going to put fluid hatches. There we go. 17 fluid hatches. Now hopefully this will work. I mean, it does say when I right-click on the thing with the multi-block builder that we can put hatches wherever these ones are. Is that a two? No, that's a one. Right? Yeah, it's a one on each side. They're all the same. So, all of a sudden I was like, wait, is that a two? No, just a one. Any hatch or precise unit casing. So I put all the casings on top. There's 42 on top. I even had room for two input buses right there. Threw a muffler in the middle. Then obviously the controller. So, yeah, I think that's everything. In theory, when I place these input hatches, it should form, in theory. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that. Do we need more hatches? Do they need to be in certain areas? If I got every single one, do I have everything? I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. I was going to try the, the other hatch. But, uh, all right. So we got our 12 reinforced frame boxes. I know those are right. So we got our 21 machine casings on the bottom. Let's say at least 42 precise unit casings. And I know I have 42. So I guess we'll have to continue... Doing this, I may have missed one somewhere. I wonder if the input bus ME doesn't work. I don't know why it wouldn't. It works on other ones. But uh, I may... I may uh, just be reading it wrong. So I guess let me continue with this. I think we had... Yeah, in just normal mode. The reinforced glass. All right, yeah, let me let me see if we need more precise casings. Maybe I should put those on the middle and then the bus is on the outside. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay, as I was looking at the controller. I realized those blocks in the middle, those are air blocks, I'm pretty sure. They have no dot on them, which tells me that, uh, yeah, those are air blocks, which kind of makes more sense. I did think it was a bit funny when I was looking at this. The These one in the middle needed to be these precise casings. I, I thought that was a bit funny. So... I think that is what the issue was. Also, I realized I didn't have a hatch, an output hatch. 
So I threw down a output hatch for fluids as well. I should have 21, yeah. All right, so let's hope this is correct. I also put the maintenance hatch up top, as we can see. I don't know if we... I'm thinking, I'm like, have we ever gotten... a fluid from an assembler recipe? No, I don't think we ever have, actually. But it did say on it, we need it. All right, I'm going to actually put this there and that all right so let's try this this seems this seems better nope still no all right <laughs> oh there Incomplete structure. Oh, there we go. Informed. All right. Apparently, it just needed to be like updated or something like that. Okay, there we go. We got the uh, <laughs> the thing has formed. Well, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I did waste twenty two input plus, but we'll use it. I'm sure we'll use it again in the future. Um, probably shouldn't have built it so close to this either, but. Uh, Okay, there we go. There is our precise assembler. I like that. I think that looks cool. I like the... Uh... Yeah, it's like a big box, but no, I like it. Okay, so I guess we'll try... Um, how do I want to do this? Basically, this is going to use all our... There we go, it's actually on. Uh, this is going to do all our assembly line recipes. Now, I have set up a... Let me do this so we can get underneath here. Yeah, unfortunately, this is right here as well. So, uh, I don't want to mess with that. Um, but I think what we can do is just start kind of on the back. Uh, I don't think we have anything... At this point, that needs more than, oops, um, I don't think we have anything that needs more than, like, we don't have more than one multi-block, or what, each number, ah, what am I trying to say, each circuit, I don't think we have any one that has more than 36 recipes, that's what I was trying to say, like, uh, our bending machine. Like, that has... The plate recipe has, like, 70 recipes. I don't think we have any of those for this. So, I guess what we're going to do is do the, the fluids just directly into the multi-block. Let's try... Let's do silicon. I'm going to have to go through all the recipes and sort it out. Also, I have left an area so we can do um fluid and a fluid and a um oh my goodness trying to do this as i'm talking <laughs> uh assembler recipes that do a molten fluid and a thing i left a an area for that so we can input a fluid will probably be like one of these like I'll do what I did over here and do that is kind of what I'm thinking maybe not right there maybe on the other side uh, because I didn't leave that much room so that will probably go like right there All right, let's get this I'm like, yeah, do I want to? Also, I kind of forgot to grab a 
Yeah. <laughs> I want to do it. I think we're going to start on this side. So that will be the silicon rubber. I kind of forgot to grab an interface. I don't have anywhere to put these. All right, let's do. We'll grab silicon rubber. I love my tanks. I know I say that all the time, but they, <laughs> it's so silly. There's so much better ways to deal with fluids, but I don't know. I think they look fun. Sue me. All right, so yeah, silicone rubber. <clears throat> and then I think this, this should just work. And uh, the nice thing about this, other than being an awesome multi-block and it does many different... Um, it does 32 times parallel, I think. That might be, yeah, it's faster, it does in parallel. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Also, I kind of wanted to do like one, two, three, four, five, but... I think I'm just going to start placing them down. I'm not going to worry about that. Here, we'll put that there. I shouldn't have grabbed so many <laughs> recipes. All right, there we go. There's our recipes. That's There we go, finally. Um, let me just grab the rest of them, and then we'll fire this up and see if it works correctly. I'll leave the rest and I'll do the rest. Uh, it's going to take me some time to sort out every single assembly recipe, which I'm kind of looking forward to, actually. All right, let's connect this as well. All right, and I created its own separate uh, like channel area. I don't know. I may end up eventually moving this. Yeah. I'm moving this to its own area. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get it up and running. So I was just going to manually put that in there. All right, that might just take a second to sort itself out. So we got the silicon rubber in there. Let me do circuit of 24. Let me throw some of these in here. Those in there. Yeah, so as I was saying, like, if we fill up a 36, which we might with these cables, um, we might need to add another one. But I guess it doesn't really need to be, like, in order. All right, enough talking. Let's see if we can get this running. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't at this point. We got the fluid in there. It's in normal mode. All right, I guess uh, let's do, I do a just, uh, don't really need. Let's do steel cables. I go through a lot of those. Actually, let's just do, I was gonna say like a hundred, but. Actually, I just want to see this, if it goes through them all at once. And so, there it goes. Alright, so, while that is cooking, we'll just kind of finish up here. I'm going to craft up another ingredient buffer so we can do some of those. I'm going to go through every single recipe and sort them out, fix them, add things to... Actually, have, we have redstone. Um, but I'll go through every single recipe and sort every single thing out. And uh, we'll start doing that. I'm looking forward to that. Especially so this can all be in one. And I can get rid of... I can get rid of all those assembler recipes. Alright, so there we go. There is the 40...
I can't tell if it's running, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why aren't you working? Alright. Uh, I may need to... <laughs> I may need to sort this out. Obviously. So, uh... Yep, molten silicone rubber. Got it right there. Hopefully this will work. I'm assuming, but maybe I need to throw the circuit in the actual thing, maybe. I don't know, we'll try that, and uh, if not, I will work on it, and we will come back next episode. Obviously, any suggestions, I am more than, more than open to that. So, oh, I may need to... I broke it and placed it down again. It's probably not on. There it goes. Oh, it just did. It worked. Did it work? <laughs> did it make a sound? I thought I heard a sound, too. It worked. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. We got it. It's working. We got an assembler at ZPM power, I think. No, maybe not. I don't know. I just realized maybe it's being limited by the casing. So maybe it doesn't overclock. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll work on this and we'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, just LUV. All right, so that extra, it doesn't matter. I don't need that. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.